Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly wanting to create their own global philanthropy brand independent of the royal family. But Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles have put an end to those plans. According to Page Six, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will still be connected to Buckingham Palace, despite their move to Frogmore Cottage at Windsor, and they will have an entire household of aides and staffers at the palace so the Queen can keep an eye on their activity. They wanted their household to be entirely independent of Buckingham Palace, but were told no, a royal source told the Sunday Times of London. They can't just go off and do their own thing. Harry and Meghan's new offices in the palace will be separate from Prince William and Kate Middleton, but officials say that was necessary because the two brothers have very different responsibilities. The differences between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were on full display this past week at the annual Chelsea Flower Show. Harry and Meghan sponsored an eco-friendly African garden, while Middleton showcased a back-to-nature English installation that featured a treehouse, waterfall, wild strawberries, and a campfire. In contrast, Harry and Meghan's African climate change garden was presented by one of their top charities, Camped and it featured solar panels, drought-resistant crops, and an advanced irrigation system. The royal family has stepped in and cut Harry's photos out of the event's publicity materials in an effort to keep the African garden from outshining Kate's design. Meghan and Harry are just weeks away from welcoming their first child, and they recently attended the christening of Mike and Zara Tindall's youngest daughter, Lena. The private Low-key ceremony was held at St. Nicholas Church in Trenton, Gloucestershire this past weekend, and Queen Elizabeth and Princess Anne were also in attendance. However, William and Kate, as well as Prince Philip, were noticeably absent. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in the process of moving to Frogmore Cottage after the residence received a massive renovation, including the installation of a $65,000 green energy unit and an eco-friendly nursery.